In this video, we're talking about the most unreliable freaking part attached to 99.9% .9 of all GY6 engines. It doesn't matter if it's a motorcycle, scooter, ATV, maybe it's a GY6 swapped ruckus with a budget harness in it, maybe it's a Mad Dog scooter, maybe it's a, doesn't matter. If you're running a vacuum operated fuel pump, most likely you've experienced this problem. And I have the solution. Let me explain first. So say you have your, uh, you haven't ridden your GY6, say it's motorcycle, scooter, ATV, whatever it is, ruckus, in about two weeks. You turn the key on, the battery's completely charged, you crank and 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 maybe it starts by then. Or it doesn't and then your battery is like and then maybe it starts. Or you have to spray starter fluid or ether into the intake of the carburetor every time you want to ride it after sitting. Or maybe you even pop the gas cap off, blow into it to get gas flowing. All of this is a result from this super, super unreliable part, the vacuum operated fuel pump. Let me show you what I mean. Just for reference, all three of these units are vacuum operated fuel pumps. If you have a gas tank that sits above your carburetor, you will not have any sort of fuel pump. They work on gravity and this video won't apply. Otherwise, if you have a gas tank below the carburetor, much like a ruckus down on the floor where your feet sit, you're going to use, most likely you'd be using a vacuum operated fuel pump like this. They have different quality fuel pumps, of course. Some are better than others, but they all function the same way off of vacuum. Fuel in, fuel out, vacuum. Fuel in, fuel out, vacuum. Fuel in, fuel out, vacuum. Although these three fuel pumps, vacuum operated fuel pumps, look different, they all operate exactly the same way on vacuum, and that's where the problem comes. I have done a lot of experimenting with these vacuum operated fuel pumps over the years. I thought I found a solution by installing like the OEM Honda Ruckus has a one-way check valve so that when you turn the key off and it's not pumping anymore the gas doesn't flow back into the gas tank. That does help a little bit but that certainly doesn't solve the problem. The problem is the gas evaporates out of the system. Let me show you what we're working with. I've got this GY6 Honda Ruckus. I'm going to duplicate exactly what I mean. So here's the gas cap, you've got the fuel tank, At the very bottom you've got the fuel hose coming out, comes out into a fuel filter of course. Then from the fuel filter you've got the line that goes up into the inlet of the pump where from this point it needs to be pumped into the carburetor. Fuel comes in from the bottom, on the top fuel comes out into the carburetor, directly to the carburetor. This is our vacuum hose, this is what makes the pump pump. Vacuum hose goes into the intake where your carburetor is, intake manifold. See the carburetor here? Since I was a little tight, I'll just go over it real quick. Fuel in, fuel out to the carburetor. Then this is your vacuum operation portion that comes out and into the nipple that's on your intake manifold. It's attached to your carburetor. The way that that works, there's a diaphragm inside your fuel pump. You'll get an in-out pressure, like sucking and blowing basically. When the engine's cranking over, you're going to get that sucking and blowing effect out of this hose only when the engine is cranking. You're just going to send that from that hose into here. That's what causes the fuel pump to actually work. This is where the problem's coming from. It only works as the engine is cranking over. Let me show you. Here's our hose. Got a fairly charged battery. I want to show you how long it takes for a vacuum operated fuel pump to start pumping that gas up. So it made it to about right there. And now my battery's getting low. You get the picture. If you didn't already know, now you know the GY6 vacuum operated fuel pump is problematic, especially on these Honda Ruckuses where we put big GY6 engines in. We don't have the battery capacity to keep cranking and cranking and cranking. As you know, the Honda Ruckus only has a little area for a battery. Even if you do the biggest lithium battery, some of these 232s, and the big motors that I like to install in these ruckuses, the vacuum operated fuel pump becomes problematic. Now let me show you the freaking fix. This is a solution, simple as that. Run an electric 
OEM Honda Ruckus fuel pump. Very, very simple. Fuel comes in, 12 volts gets plugged in here. When the key gets powered on, it effortlessly pumps fuel to the carburetor. No cranking it over, heavy duty cranking amps, very low wattage. This fuel pump pumps directly to your carburetor. This eliminates a lot of baloney, a lot of problems with these GY6s. One giant, giant problem. You have to run this ECU. This is the Honda Ruckus ECU. It's like the brain. It tells this pump when to pump. You can't just plug 12 volts into this pump and it works. You have to have this sucker. If you're lucky, you already bought a harness that utilizes this electric fuel pump and you don't have to worry about any of that. All of our harnesses have that. So what do you do? You want to run the OEM Honda Ruckus electric fuel pump. You don't want to buy a $500 ECU, nor do you want to wire it in. And you have a wiring harness that utilizes one of these sons of guns. Well, introducing infomercial style ProBuild Pulsar Unit. This is our ProBuild Pulsar module. And what this does is this gives you the ability to run this electric OEM fuel pump on anything. Very, very simple. One end plugs into the fuel pump. It's got an OEM plug, just like that. The other end plugs in line with your tail light. Very, very simple. There's even an adjustment here if we need to speed up or slow down the pulse. Because as you know, maybe you don't, these fuel pumps are specifically made for certain size CC engines. Depends on where you bought it, who made it, things like that. You have to get the correct one for the correct size engine. That's why these are problematic. They over pump, under pump. They take forever to send the fuel up. They're just problematic. So this is what you're gonna need. You definitely don't wanna buy an electric fuel pump from Amazon or eBay that's not original Honda. I don't know if you could see this, but on here it says, Made in Japan. If it doesn't say made in Japan, don't buy that fuel pump. You need a Honda electric fuel pump. Otherwise, you're going to be in the same boat as if you had one of these sons of guns. So I just hooked up the OEM fuel pump. I got the fuel line coming from the bottom of the gas tank into the OEM fuel pump. OEM fuel pump has the hose going up into the carburetor inlet nipple. The only thing left to do is block off or cap off the intake manifold nipple there. So we have no vacuum leak. Let's get this sucker installed. Like I said, one end to the tail light, the other end to the actual fuel pump. Very, very easy. Fuel pump plug plugs directly in just like that. There is one super important step that we need to check before wiring in the other end of the ProBuild Pulsar unit. Since the unit is a DC unit, we can't run AC. This is the test. Turn the key on. We don't start the bike. All we do is turn the key on. If the tail light lights up, not the brake light, okay? Make sure you have a brake light working. If the tail light lights up, that's DC power. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Now, if we turn the key on, and you get not a tostada, the light doesn't turn on. Maybe your brake light might work, but the tail light doesn't light up. That's AC power. This unit will not work with AC power, so don't try to plug it in. The way AC power works is when you start the bike, then it powers, okay? It's a completely different system. But you can get creative if you have an AC system. All you gotta do is run positive and negative to somewhere on the bike that when you turn the key on, it powers on. You can use a test light to figure that out. It's gonna be a rare case, but you could do it. All right, now that we know it's DC, let me show you how it installs. It's plug and play, it's real easy. Now you need to access your tail light on a Ruckus. Normally you can flip the seat up unless you have a custom setup. Bottom line is, you gotta get to your tail light. Now, I made it plug and play with bullet connectors since most people use bullet connectors on their tail light. So, all we have is a negative and a positive. And we're gonna run our pulsar unit in line with the tail light. We're gonna steal the ground from it and we're gonna steal the power. So when you flip the key on, pulsar unit turns on. So what I like to do, if you don't know what wires what, turn the key on, 
since I already know, gray is, in this case, gray is the tail light. See how it turns off? In your case, it might not be a gray wire. Whatever wire your tail light is, not your brake light, your tail light, you want to plug one end in, just like this. The other end, see how it just, it just kind of like loops it? The other end, there. Now the ground, I know that the green wire is ground. Again, might be different in your, clay, your case. So just taking the black wire is your ground. I try, I try to get these um, little rubber fittings here so that you don't, uh, it doesn't ground out. Get those like nice and seated and then uh, plug in your final ground. Easy, positive, negative, in line with the tail light. Very, very easy. Now all I gotta do is turn the key on and the fuel pump will pump by itself. You can see how fast this sucker pumps. Ready, bam. Like I mentioned before, you can adjust the pulse rate, how fast or how slow you want the fuel pump to pump by this little flathead plastic screw. Doesn't take any effort at all, but I could turn it and slow that sucker way down or speed it up. And if you notice, I've got a little red mark. I set it exactly where I would recommend that you have it if you have a GY6 engine. And if you notice, I'll put my microphone down by the fuel pump. There's an audible noise so you know that the fuel pump's working and you can hear the speed. Believe it or not, this little pulser unit has taken about two years to develop. Look, seems like such a simple little thing, but it's not. We were burning out fuel pumps. They were getting too hot. They weren't pumping fast enough or too slow. Then we added the adjuster. It's been a lot. I've even beta tested this sucker with about 20 people, 50 cc's, 232 cc's. We even tried it on a Kawasaki mule. So it works across the board. It's reliable and I'm freaking proud of it. I'm gonna put a link down in the description if you wanna buy one of these suckers. I'll sell them as the unit by itself or with the pump and the unit. I appreciate you guys more than you know and I'll see you in the next video.